Hi, Bob Freeman here with Marie Max in Naples, Florida. I'm here today to talk to you about the Boston Whaler 2018 280 Outrage 60th Anniversary Edition. It's a brand new trade we get in. It's a 2018. It's very low hours on it, and it looks like a brand new boat. So a great way to uh, to get yourself into a 280. And uh, let's start uh, with the profile of the boat. As you see, it's a the, the new 60th Anniversary Edition. They uh, they've changed the design a little bit, much sleeker style. Um, just the, the hull is a new design as well, and it rides great. It's got high freeboard, it's meant for going out into the bigger water. And it's powered by the Mercury Verado, uh, twin 350s. Ton of power for this boat, it's a solid 50 mile an hour boat. And it, uh, it's gonna get you where you wanna go in a hurry. It can get you down to the Keys, it can get you offshore. Uh, it's pretty much gonna do uh, everything you want, including the backwaters, because it still has a shallow draft as well. So. Let's hop on board and see the rest. Here we are on board the 280. Let's start at the back of the boat. And uh, the boat does two things very well. It fishes very well, and it also does uh, the day boating uh, extremely well. So let's start out with a couple of features. Uh, right at the transom door, you've got a freshwater sprayer. So if you're coming up from the stern of the boat, you can rinse yourself off before you get on the boat, washing off any sand or salt that you may have. And if you are fishing, you've got the three rod holders right across the back. And you've got a good size live well right there. So you've got it right at the back of the boat, convenient for getting the bait out of, uh, right from, you know, right from where you're, where you're actually fishing. Then if you are going out for the day, you've got a two person, very comfortable seat. Um, and then if you decide, okay, we're gonna go fish, all you gotta do, Pulls away, now you got a nice bolster right here for a leaning post. So, does this very, very well. We move around, we've got tow rails here. So, tow rails are a safety feature if you're bringing on a, a good sized fish and uh, you, you tuck your toes underneath it and it will keep you from being pulled into the water by accident. So, uh, kind of a neat feature. We've got two large fish boxes one port and one starboard. And all your batteries and everything else are all, uh, and all your pumps and everything are all conveniently located right here. Easy access, fantastic. It's got a slide out tray for the Yeti cooler. So it's got a little pin you just pull out, you slide the whole cooler out, take what you need, push it back in, it's out of the way and it's out of the sun as well. Little prep area here, you got a drink holder, two more rod holders that are up here. So you got a sink with a pull out sprayer, this pulls out. And then you've got a second extremely large live well. So this is set up again, very, very well for fishing. Um, you're not, you're gonna have enough bait, you're gonna have different kinds of bait and you're not gonna run out. So as we slide around towards the helm, we've got uh, the customer that uh, was the original uh, purchaser of the boat, who again, just, just purchased it when he went, he went larger. And uh, he's got the, um, the Simrad, the large Simrad, so it fits, looks perfect, it's uh, all touch. So it's a gorgeous, gorgeous unit. And uh, you've got uh, autopilot, you've got all your, um, all your gauges and your, t your fuel burns and everything else. And everything duplicates. This information here is duplicated up here as well. So if you're really watching uh, anything in particular in your smart craft here, you can bring it up here, it's a lot bigger, and you've got uh, redundancy from one to the other. Um, got the autopilot, little dry storage in here, and you also have the active trim. What this does is when you get up on plane and you want to actually trim the engines out, um, you can figure it out. It's got five different settings. So once I find the sweet spot, say it's number three, I just lock it in on number three, and when I, every time I go out after that, I just hit, uh, when I get up on plane, I just hit the, uh, the on button and it's gonna automatically trim the engines exactly to the sweet spot. So you're always gonna get the best performance and the best fuel burn. So really nice feature that they've uh, they added onto this boat, nice option. Remote control for the stereo, trim tabs. You've got the, uh, the Lenko trim tab, so uh, you get the full control of the boat from, uh, from when you're getting up out of the hole. And then we've got the traditional whale, whaler steering wheel and you have the uh, digital throttle and shift. So the digital throttle and shift, best feature on this is it's all fly-by-wire now, obviously. And uh, so once I get out of the once I get out of the slip, I hit the one lever, I put that down so, because I now I'm not gonna use this. So the rest of the time I'm out, I'm using the one lever and it controls both engines perfectly. So 
but by that it's I'm not tapping the I'm not tapping it I'm always the exact RPM all the time so you, you're gonna have um, a, a better performance you're gonna have a better fuel burn and it's a lot better for the engines to be perfectly synced all the time so nice feature there a couple of convenient drink holders the helm seats are beautiful very comfortable armrests on uh, on both of them and then as we move to the head it's a very large head area so it, uh, it has the vacuum flush, which is the top of the line on that, and plenty of room. You do have a window up there so you can get extra daylight with, uh, with fresh air if you need it. And you also have the handheld shower. So if you need to, if you were out for the day and you, and you want to rinse, if you're going to go into a restaurant for a lunch or something, you can rinse yourself off, change out of a swimsuit type of thing, and put on clothes. It, uh, just plenty of room, not claustrophobic plenty of room to uh, to do whatever you need so let's move forward to the bow area really nice comfortable two-person lounger up at the bow of the boat so you know it's it's when you're riding up here it's an extremely quiet place to ride uh, the engines are in the back and they're also very quiet anyways so very quiet very peaceful just a nice relaxing armrest drink holders here and we also underneath here, very large, very deep uh, storage. So it, you, as you can see, all the Coast Guard equipment, everything is all brand new. I mean, everything, everything's brand new. So um, everything you're going to need to be legal on the water is pretty much new and is already on the boat already. So huge storage, keeping uh, fenders, lines, anything you need conveniently located. So we do have extra seating here, so comfortable seating for another three uh, adults. So you can probably put six adults up here comfortably. Got the, the chrome plated rails uh, all the way around the boat. So you wherever you're moving on the boat, you've got something to grab onto. Or if you're sitting, it's always nice to have something to grab onto. It makes you feel more safe and secure, which, which you are. And lastly, we've got up here extremely large uh, platform as far as fishing. So if you're fishing off the bow of the boat, You've got an uninterrupted, no windlass, no cleats or anything up here. All non-skid up here, so a large platform for fishing off the bow of the boat. And then underneath, you get the recessed windlass with the remote control. So I can control it here, and I can also control it from the helm as well. Nice, neat, clean, out of the way. So with the hard top, the, uh, you've got forward lighting, LED lighting. You've got the uh, vent window for the uh, at the helm for fresh air if you need it. It's just a beautiful, very, it, it, it's a fantastic 50-50 boat. Uh, if you want to fish, it fishes very well. If you don't want to fish and you just want to go out to, um, go out to the beach, go to lunch, go to dinner, that type of thing, just go for a sunset, it does that very well. So it really does both fish and, and pleasure very, very well. So. It's a 28-foot Boston, Boston Wheeler Outrage, and it just does just about everything very well. So any, any questions on it, if you're interested in uh, coming to see it, give me a call. My name is Bob Freeman. It's 603-213-1194.